you want the judiciary to be independent. The Constitution states too. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, on the Judicial Council, which recommends justices yeah. to be appointed, so you have the Attorney General and four nominees of the President sitting there, taking part in the proceedings as to who should be uh, presented for appointment to the Supreme Court. Where is the independence of the judiciary? We have the executive so strongly present there. And that's why I quoted a passage from that table. I said, with those people, they can influence mm -hmm. the course of the appointment. And that's political influence. OK, that's an interesting development. Oh, yes. Because you do recall yes. that there was a time yes. that Professor Raymond Atuba had raised yes. the issue to do with who appointed who yes. and how they ended yes. up voting, yes, yes, essentially. Yes. Yes. And you judges were up in arms against him. <laughs> I remember I wasn't there. Um, I remember I was there. I probably would have come. But when I talked, they were simply say because it's me. Yeah, we are related to uh -huh. him. No, but the substance of the matter yes. is what you're raising. Yes. How then do we do it? Should we remove the president's appointees from the judicial co com committee, the judicial council? Oh, yes. What are they there for? The separation of powers. Executive should be separate from the, the judicial arm, so that they are independent and can do their work freely. Then you bring them there to police their, their appointments from the beginning. Is that how to achieve an independent judiciary? Mm. And apart from that, you see, if you look at the present structure of the judicial council, you have the chief justice as chairman. You have a representative of the Supreme Court and the various other yeah. lower courts. Um, the, I think the magistrates and circuits, they have one representative. But the other uh, courts, Supreme Court, Court of Appeal, High Court, they have a representative each. Mm -hmm. You have the Judge Advocate General from the armed mm -hmm. forces. You have the Director of the uh, Police Legal Directorate. Yeah. You have the Editor of the Law Reports. You have two members of the Bar Association. And then you have this four presidential nominees and the attorney general is a composition. Now, if you look at it realistically, who can stand up to the a chief justice who wants to do the president's bidding? I mean, just for the sake of I, I get you. argument. Who can stand up to him? Is the attorney general and the, the four nominees? They will certainly try to push for the president, isn't it? I get your point, but would it I'm, be I'm fair? Coming. Okay. As for the other members, two members of the bar, it also depends <laughs> on their <laughs> inclinations, <laughs> you know? There are only two anyway. Mm -hmm. And then, apart from the representative of the Supreme Court, it also depends on how he stands in relation to the Chief Justice. If it's not independent-minded, he may like always to side with the Chief Justice. As for the others, they are below the chief <laughs> Supreme Court, so you know they are promotion and all those things depend on. Uh -huh.